Hey guys, so I am here at Tinley Park in Chicago and we're just going to go walk around the convention center and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys inside. This one seems, I feel like, more packed this time, doesn't it? Does it feel that way to you? Kind of. Like, like they almost, they need to expand it. Like they need almost like two rooms. I think you said that last time too. Well, I still stand by it. I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is going to be more of a sit and watch, don't have to listen to my voice kind of video. So let me know down in the comments if you like this style of video or if you would prefer something more of like a voiceover. I am going to try and leave the names of the species if I can personally remember them. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to remember all of them, but I'll leave the name of them on the screen so you guys know what they are. Make sure you guys stick around until the end of the video. I do have some pretty exciting news um, and just a little fun tidbit at the end, so make sure you stick around for that.
So we just got out of the convention expo thing um, and I did get something but you guys won't be able to see that until my next video when I introduce it to you guys. Uh, I will let you know that it is a species that I've been wanting and it is a different species than I currently own. I know I normally get like the same species but no, this is a different one. I'm really excited. I've wanted this for a, quite a while now. Yeah. Um, and I actually went to an expo before with the tank all set up and ready to go. I just didn't find it there. So I found it here like I thought I would. We are just getting ready to leave. So when I get home, I will show you guys all the free stuff that I got. Anything that like was given to us or that I picked up off of tables. I'll show that to you guys because um, why not? Okay guys, so I'm back home and now I'm going to show you what I got. Of course, excluding the animal that I got because of course I want that to be a surprise. Um, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up its enclosure and I'm going to see if you guys can guess what it is. Just by how I set up the enclosure, I have a feeling some of you guys will because um, it's a fairly common animal. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got a lot of stuff for free. Um, so I figured I'll just go ahead and show you guys that. Um, first of all, one thing that I did buy is this right here. Um, these are egg crates, cartons, things, whatever. Um, yeah, there's 140 of them here. They're kind of heavy, but yeah, I got all of these because, well, I do breed my crested geckos and, you know, it's just nice to have extra disposable decor that I don't have to continuously wash. I can just throw away um, and then it's all sanitary and whatnot. So yeah, this was $22 for this, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal because I think I got 50 of them for like 20 bucks online before. That might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it was something like that. But yeah, so I got all of these. I don't know where I'm going to keep these. Like, I don't have room in my room. So I think they're going to have to go in the basement. Or like, somewhere. They can't go in the attic though, because I'm afraid they're like mice or something's going to get into them. I'll find somewhere for them. But yeah, I've got 140 of these to now store. So, yay. The next items that I got were free. Um, if you guys go to Tinley Park... You guys know that they do give out free samples, well, not samples, they do give out free little cards for a certain amount of bugs, um, insects, and you can decide what you want. Kyle, Brandon, and I went to the expo, so we had three different cards, so I got to pick different items, um, which is really nice <laughs> because I needed some insects. Um, so I got these small mealworms, they do have bigger ones, um, but they didn't have any more when I went because um, it's kind of like first come first serve whoever gets them gets them whoever doesn't doesn't kind of thing um, and then these tiny crickets which kind of plays a role into what I got because it is a smaller creature so there's another hint for you guys um, and then I also got some super worms because I'm trying to start a super worm colony and you know I need super worms to do that and it's not working out very well for me so like if you guys have any tips on keeping superworm colonies and all that, go ahead and leave that down below in the comment section because I have no idea. Um, I've been like doing research and stuff and I still can't figure it out. I've, 
I swear I'm doing it all right, but for whatever reason, it's just not working. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of super worms, and this was all free. I did not spend a penny on this other than me getting into the show um, for $15, so which is pretty good for all these insects. I believe there's 500 of each. The next thing that I got is this poster. Um, it was free. It's also from, uh, what is this company? We shall see. Oh. Um, it's also from Timberline. Sorry if you guys are like kind of hard to see me. It's like a really weird angle. I am sitting on my knees because I don't have like a proper place to sit. Um, I guess I could just sit like this. I got this poster because I really want to start putting like educational things in my room. Um, and it would also be nice to have like educational pieces to show people that they could read. Um, like when I go and go to like different churches and stuff and like school events um, to educate people. So it'd be really nice to have like that kind of material. But this is from, what is this from? This is from Timberline. Um, and this is just a who eats what chart. I don't know, I thought it was interesting. I need to double check obviously the information on this to see how accurate it is. But I figured it, would, it was free, so I went ahead and got it. There are bearded dragons, crested geckos, leopard geckos, chameleons, um, including veiled panther and jacksons, your mastics, box turtles, tortoises, and tarantulas. So yeah, and then there's like a bunch of information on specific kinds of bugs here um, up at the top and then the rest of the info is down below. But yeah, I don't know, I thought this was really cool and if it's correct or even if some of it's correct, I'm still going to use it. I'll probably just block out the information that's not correct from what I find online because like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this again and make sure that it's all right I'm I'm sure it is because I kind of I I do trust Timberline but I would just like to make sure before I'm actually using a, a promotional piece of theirs um, which is a reason that they made them but yeah so that is what I got of course I got some free little goodies again um, Zoomed if you guys are not new to NARBC in, at least in Tinley Park, I don't know what they do in Texas, um, but they give out these Zoo Med bags. Here are just a few of the free samples, which these are actually really good. I, I like these a lot. Um, I will mix, depending on the kind of food and what's actually in the food, I will mix some of these into my Blue Tongue Skinks food, but once again, for some variety. And she likes them. Um, I like wet them down, depending on what it is, obviously. Um, some of it I can't use, but it's really nice to get all of these. But yeah, guys, that is basically everything that I got from NARBC Tinley Park. I had a lot of fun there. There were these gorgeous geckos. I have never ever seen these geckos in person. They're crested geckos, but the color patterns and like just, oh, they were so pretty. I've never seen geckos more beautiful in my life. And like I said, I've seen photos of them, but I've never ever seen them in person. They're so hard to find. If I can find some photos of them, I will put them on the screen right now, but they are just, though, they're just so gorgeous animals. Oh, they're just, <sighs> makes me speechless. I literally looked at those geckos. They weren't for sale, of course, but I literally looked at the geckos today and was just like, oh, I literally said, oh my gosh. And the lady, I didn't know the lady was looking at me at the time when I did that. And I like grabbed Brandon and I was like, look at, like, look, look at that. And the lady was looking at me, I guess, at the time when I did that. And I looked up and glanced at her and she's like, I absolutely love it when people do that. She's like, that is like my favorite reaction ever because the geckos are that gorgeous that it's like, oh, like it blows your mind. Um, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna find some photos, even if, even if they're not photos of her exact geckos, just geckos like it because it is my favorite crested gecko morph coloration pattern all of it it's just I will have it um, I got her business card so yeah I will be getting some of those hopefully not related so I can breed them um, because that is something that oh they're so pretty I would like specialize just in that pattern and coloration morph like I would specialize in just that with crusty geckos because it is so so gorgeous this video is already heck along so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if you did like do you guys like these follow me around to reptile expo videos see what i got see the free stuff that they offer 
um, that kind of thing. If you do, let me know down below so I will continue to make these videos. And I will see you guys in my next Can You Guess What My New Animal Is video. I hope that you guys had an awesome day. I certainly did. And I will see you guys in my next video.